is one of the finalists for that Texans job, Brian Flores, who, as you know, is suing the NFL and three teams over allegations of racial discrimination. His lawyers released this statement after the hiring. We would be remiss not to mention that Mr. Flores was one of three finalists for the Texans head coach position. And after a great interview and mutual interest, it is obvious that the only reason Mr. Flores was not selected was his decision to stand up against racial inequality across the NFL. L. Strong accusation there. Stephen A., your reaction to all of this and those hirings? Well, listen, um, <clears throat> Dennis Allen has been under Sean Payton for a while, and he was always considered the guy uh, that was going to be the next head coach for the New Orleans Saints unless he got a job somewhere else. And it's hard to dismiss that, and it's hard to, um, you know, speak negatively about that. Lovey Smith, I'm happy he's getting a second chance, even though – you know, he's coached for two years in Tampa. He coached in Chicago, so it's really a third chance. It would have been great to see somebody else get that opportunity, but I'm certainly not upset that he's gotten an opportunity yet again to prove himself. In the end, what I really want to focus on is the fact that a group of civil rights leaders, um, you know, call for replacing the Rooney Rule when they met Monday with Commissioner Roger Goodell. What we have to remember and what people have to pay attention to is that there's inequality that is being exercised in the National Football League in the year 2022. You know, on so many occasions as a society, we look at things and we say, aren't we getting better? Isn't it not what, isn't it different than what it used to be in a very positive way? Regardless of the trials and tribulations that we experience as a nation, there's a lot of credence to that argument in a lot of different ways, not when it comes to the NFL. And the fact that the NFL is the number one sport in North America, making gobs and gobs of money with 30 white owners, not a single black owner. And on top of it all, you have owners literally ignoring a rule that they okayed implementation of in 2003. And 19 years later, you are clearly taking a step backward and they don't seem to give a damn. America needs to understand what the owners are saying is we really don't care what you think. We're making money. We're going to continue to make money because y'all ain't going nowhere. So y'all can make all the noise y'all want because we're going to still live fat and happy. And that's why I don't mind the fact that civil rights leaders have gotten involved because it's, a, it's, a, it's an issue of inequality that needs to be addressed. And the league has tried their best to rectify it. But clearly, the strong arm that they have ain't strong enough to yeah. influence the owners they work for. And so to me, this is the first step. And as far as I'm concerned, if it doesn't change, I wouldn't be opposed to government intervention to bring attention to the level of inequality yeah. that NFL owners are exercising. Yeah, because not only was it not working, when it, comes to it, black it was actually regressing. Yes. Yes. And I just want to mention quickly, there's one vacancy left. That would be, we think Kevin O'Connell will be hired by the Vikings. Obviously, he's coaching in the Super Bowl. And we'll ask Justin Jefferson, who will be with us uh, in just a bit, about his potential new head coach. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.